Alright, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering some reviews of different kinds of paper, which is another installment of an earlier video. Check out the link at the top right corner. Okay, the first one will be this single tissue foil. If you're comfortable with handling foil, then actually all kinds of foil are the same. The handling and feeling is pretty much the same. And this foil, for some reason, they have this uh, brand logo that's imprinted on it. And if you don't want it, then yeah, don't opt for the diamond one. <laughs> but for Singapore's weather, very humid. This brand is the one that oxidized the least, so it does not have the dark grey patch. But the imprints are there, so thing in the folded form, the words won't show too much. Hopefully the D is not exposed. Ha ha humor. Please like and subscribe for the seamless weave of a phallic joke. Okay, here are some examples of the completed model. Um, I believe it's from Hari Hadi. The vehicles are very fun to fold. Fold going for not much gluing or shaping is needed. It holds its shape by itself. Next will be the double tissue foil and I believe this is also bleeding tissue and both of these are constructed using spray glue. You can see the shine peeking through the tissue and here is an example foil. And foil being foil, it does have this tendency to buckle in the fold. And yeah, you can see that it holds its shape because it's essentially metal. good crease memory but not too good a crease reversal because it's metal And this is an example model of a double tissue foil, also from Harihadi. Great design. These cars are cute and very intuitive to fold. Cat from Siesta, Origami. And Bear from Ukuda Toru. Okay, next will be Bian Fang foil. And Bian Fang has very poor crease reversal, that's what I remember because I tried to use it to experiment for my UEFA Champions League trophy. It was a nightmare. For some reason, that time I yeeted and yoloed and made a Bian Fang foil. And to my surprise, it actually has this very luxurious and smooth feeling. 
and as you can see this is cut from uh, the oxidized part of an of a sheet of aluminium foil in humid Singapore Captain Barbosa welcome to Singapore any tips to choose or reduce the oxidation or prevent it Interestingly, it has this iridescent shine. These are some examples of the completed models. Star Wars Star Destroyer by Shu Sugamata. as well as the snow speeder. Very comfortable to the touch. This one etched deeply in my memory. And next will be craft, and one of my favorites, I'd say. Um, however, if you use too much of this, your wardrobe will look very plain and dull. It's all going to be brown in color. It's very good for training purposes. The handling is very forgiving, very easy going. You can see there's shine on one side, dull on the other. Great crease reversal, lots of lines. And this paper tends to curl towards the shiny side. So yeah, I tried flattening it. It doesn't work, so just don't bother trying to flatten it. Just fold, don't think so much. And to bring to your attention, the gold craft is not really worth buying because you can see there's really not much difference of the color from gold craft and normal craft. The brown is just brown. And when you fold the gold craft, you get these metallic deposits on your hand and you'll smell like metal. So these are examples of models folded from the craft paper. This is TIE Fighter from El Kafaski. X-Wing, same author. This is the ferry from Jason Koo.
and this is Darth Vader, my design. So the back story of this, I wanted to design a Darth Vader to keep. Then during the process, uh, Bodo invited us to submit a video via the Discord channel, and I managed to come in third. Hooray! And this is the updated version with fingers and larger sheet of paper. As of now, it has been spray painted and I kind of messed it up. So oops, thankfully I have the footage of this raw look of it. So yeah, there you have it, that's craft. Okay, next will be Elios craft. So you can see it's very thin, very sheer. It has this uh, music score lines like Wencho. Wencho we will cover in the next video. Same, one side shiny, one side dull. And this craft, Elios craft, uh, it lies flat, unlike the earlier one. And this is an example of a folded model. Looks strong and sturdy. However, when you handle it, it's actually pretty flimsy. It's good enough to stand on its own. And yeah, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and share. I will be really grateful and of course there will be another installment of this paper episode where I will be covering Wenzhou, Bianfang, Biotope, Ego and others. Okay, so stay tuned. I will see you in the next video. Bye.